Mr. McCoy here at Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks. Today is Thursday, May 14. As always, incredible things are coming. You get to have the opportunity to answer the question, who is the mystery student? You also have the opportunity to find out who are the five who survive in that deadly funhouse. I also get to tell you about this week's missions, and you have the opportunity to see scenes from Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks, you name it, all kinds of great things are coming, so stay tuned. It's time to play Who is the Mystery Person? In just a moment, you'll see an employee from Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks in a disguise, and then you'll see what that person looks like normally. Yes, Who is the Mystery Person? Here comes our first mystery person. And this is what that person looks like normally. Here comes our second mystery person. And here's what that person looks like normally. And now comes our third mystery person. Here's what that person looks like normally. You have just been playing Who is the Mystery Person? More games coming in the days and weeks to come. Welcome back to the Deadly Fun House as we play The Five Who Survive. Here are the members of Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks. What a great group of employees. However, all but five of them will disappear down the deadly tunnel through the deadly fun house, and then we will end up with five who survive. Here come the eliminations. We're getting close. Of these remaining six people, five will survive. We have Morgan Yates, Jason Salzman, Jonas Corson, Jack Henry, Cole Dietrichson, Sam Porter. One of them will fall down the deadly tunnel. The other five will survive. There goes Erica Tran. Oh, I didn't even see her on there. Oh, we still have six, so we need one more. Oh, there goes Sam Porter. Here are the five. Oh, no, there's still six who survived. No, there are five who survived. Morgan Yates, Jason Salzman, Jonas Corson, Jack Henry, and Cole Dietrichson are the five who survived. We need a round of applause. Congratulations on winning five who survived. As a part of your virtual learning board for this week, you have the opportunity to participate in Stray, a short story from Every Living Thing by Cynthia Ryland. As you participate in this, and it's a part of uh, one of those videos that I've made as a tutorial for your argumentative essay writing, you'll have the opportunity to decide whether or not Doris is a strong character or a weak character. The story starts with in January, a puppy wandered onto the property of Mr. Amos Lacey and his wife, Mamie, and their daughter, Doris. Icicles hung three feet or more from the eaves of houses. Snowdrifts swallowed up automobiles, and the birds were so fluffed up they looked comic. The puppy had been abandoned, and it made its way down the road toward the Lacey's small house, its ears tucked, its tail between its legs, shivering. Now that story is presented in session 15 of your argumentative essay videos. That is only one of the many things that you get to do for this week. Other things, of course, include math, reading and social studies. You also have the opportunity to do spelling and grammar, as well as specials needs to be worked into your day. You have two fun math games that you get to play. 
You also get to continue with the Devil's Arithmetic. You can do those on your own, or you can join me at 9 a.m. every morning, and I will present one or two parts. The Devil's Arithmetic concludes tomorrow, so you've got to keep up in all of those sessions. There are also other fun adventures as well. Okay, get ready to go to work, but first, stay tuned for those scenes from Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks. You might see yourself. You'll definitely see other employees of Six Flags, so please stay tuned.